guys, I'm back. In action. I'm back on YouTube. What? Um, so I was randomly like, yeah, I should probably film another video. Because I kept doing all these like Instagram lives and people would ask me, well, it goes away in 24 hours. We can't see what you're doing. So I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm going to start doing YouTube videos and here we are. So, uh, today slash tonight I did, um, kind of like springtime colors glam look. I mean, clearly I'm in a tight dress, so it's kind of like a night out glam, but if you took, if you take the lashes off and you just do mascara, it's like a really pretty daytime look because I don't have any eyeliner on. Um, so super pretty, super glam. And yeah, I hope you guys watch my video and learn a few things. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And okay, I'm done. Let's go. So first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair back. When I curl my hair, I like to use sunglasses in order to um, hold my bangs back so that way it doesn't like crease. Cause anytime I use Anything else that creases really bad. So that's what we're using today. And we're going to start with um, the skin. For spring and summertime, I like to have like a really dewy, fresh look. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. And this is just super moisturizing. Let's see what it says on the front. Nothing. Never mind. But it really is. And I've already applied moisturizer and eye cream as well. So next step I don't do all the time, but if I'm like going out or I want to look like I've spent a ton of time on my makeup, I will conceal with a peach concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, just to get rid of my fun little dark circles here. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my damp beauty blender. Oh, this is cold. And basically all this is doing is just correcting any blue hues under my eye. So I've been going back and forth on this foundation because I used to like love it. And now I'm just, it's so thick. So I just use a little bit of it. And I love it this way. But I was like dotting it all over my face. And it's just, it's too much. If you use, just use a little bit of it. And this is like my perfect shade. I don't think I've ever found a foundation color as good as this. I'm in um, Chai 210B. And you can already see like how much this um, foundation like is. A little goes a super, super long way. So you just gotta kinda have a careful hand when you are working with this. But this isn't super matte, which is why I love it. It looks really good throughout the day. Going in with concealer, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape today, and this is um, Light Medium Sand. Just like four little lines. Anywhere you want to highlight is where you want to apply that concealer. Now we're 
going to cream contour. Um, my favorite is the Too Faced, or yeah, Born This Way Multi Sculpting uh, Concealer. This I love. If you want a more affordable um, one to use, the LA Girl Pro Conceal. These are like $4. They work pretty well. But I just feel like this is my favorite shade to use too. It's in the shade Mocha. And it's really warm. It's not super cool tone. So it's more of like a, a cream bronzer. Alright. Looks a little scary, I know. But I just flip my beauty blender over. And blend this in. Just love that. Um, the tone of this color. I don't really like super ashy or gray on my skin. One of the reasons I love like cream products in the summer is because it just looks like your skin. It doesn't look overly powdery and it leaves a really nice like sheen. I have an itch. God. I feel like I always have an itch. And then I'm just bringing it down on my neck to get rid of our double chin. My double chin. I have a really bad double chin. For how much I work out, this does not go away. It cracks me up. Um, I'm gonna set my under eyes and my face with the Huda Beauty Powder. This is in the shade Banana Bread. So just making sure all of those creases are out before you set it, including my little fine lines on my forehead. Oh, nice. I'm gonna go under my contour. Give yourself a little fun beard. And my forehead. And down the perch of my nose. And then after you've let it sit for a minute or two, um, I'm just going to take, you can take any powder really that you want. Um, I just, I don't know why I do this, but I use the Glow uh, powder and it's like a powder foundation and I just swirl it in there and I use it to tap off with the rest of my powder. I know it sounds like a lot, but it adds, I don't know, like a really flawless finish I think when I do this. Just like that, you are all set. Your makeup isn't going anywhere at this point, I'm telling you. So for my eyes today, since we're doing more of like a spring, um, spring look, I'm going to use all these, not all of them, but I'm going to use these beautiful, beautiful warm shades in the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of just set everything on my lid with this um, tempura shade. Just so that everything blends really nicely and doesn't crease. Let's see if I can zoom in actually. So now I'm going to go in with... Um, Let's do a burnt orange, this shade right here. So just right here in this crease, 
I'm just putting this shade kind of everywhere, messily. And you can start out light and build it up. That is the best way to apply eyeshadow, let me tell ya. Okay, done with that shade. I'm gonna go into this real orange color over here. Real, real gar. That's what we're gonna go in with now. And I'm just using a small, a smaller brush. The first brush that I used was a little bit fluffier for the crease and then this one's just a little bit more precise. And so I'm just gonna put that in the crease but just a little lower. And then just taking it out like this on the outer part of the eye. Okay, moving on to our lower lash line here. I'm just gonna take a little flat brush and I'm gonna pick up um, that real gar, that really, really orange shade, and just put it down here. That lower lash line. Um, and then I'm gonna go back in with the love letter. The same thing, just on the outer part. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. So, now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. And I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes as well. Okay, and then false lashes time. All-time favorite lash glue, the Duo Dark Tint. And then over there, you're also going to want tweezers to apply them because it makes life way easier. So I'm using... Um, Lily Lash uh, Miami. These are my all-time favorite lashes ever. I can wear them like, pe people say you can wear them like 20 times. I probably wear them 10 to 15 times and then I get a new pair. But they are like $30, but I love them. And then I applied it. I'm gonna let it sit for a second and I'm gonna apply glue on the other lash. So I'm going to pick it up with my tweezer, blow on it, okay, and then I'm going to grab a mirror like this and like look into it like this upwards. Wait, which side do I? I'm going to go this side. So, and I'm going to go up and down. I'm going to place it in the middle of my eye. I just put it in the middle. I'm going to grab the ends and place them down. Just like that. And there you go. And then you don't even need to blow on this one because by the time you've applied this eye, this one will be ready to go. So again, pop it right in the middle, drag the outer corner and the inner corner. And then your lashes should be on and good to go make the biggest difference. For me, I love the look of lashes. Some people, not so much. They don't really like them. So now we're gonna move on to bronzing. Um, 
And today I'm going to be using MAC Bronzer in Refined Golden. It has like little gold flakes in there, but it doesn't pick up really that much at all. Um, I'm going to be using my Morphe E3 brush to apply this. Swirl. And just really focusing on the perimeter of the face here. I'm not contouring right now, I'm just bronzing. And then this is my all time favorite little guy. Uh, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And this is in the shade Toffee Caramel in 330. And you're like, you're probably looking at it like, that's a bronzer? Trust me, the color, I don't know what it is, but the color of this is like perfect because it's so olive that I love it. Some people prefer more ashy tones, more red tones, but I love the look of this color, I don't know. But I have to wear it. I love it. So for blush, I want to use a pretty pinky blush just to go with the eyes. I'm going to use NARS Ghoul. Ghoulé. Just taking a little blush brush here. And then I'm just putting it kind of on the apples of the cheeks, but then focusing it backwards as well. And then I also put a little bit on the chin. And I also put a little bit on the nose. Just kind of like you got some sun. Okay, and then for my nose, I like to use this little, little brush. And I'm gonna go in with my Park Ave Contour Palette. I'm gonna pick up the shade Angle here. Just a little bit. And I just define my nose just a little bit more. Make it look a little skinnier. Super easy. And then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. Yeah, we're gonna use this is a MAC um, highlighting palette. And as you can see, I love this shade. So I'm gonna mix these two to get that and apply it. the tops of my cheekbones and then I'm going to go in with a little more of a precise brush something like this and then I'm going to apply it right on the tip of my nose and right down the middle. Just kind of blend it in with my finger. Right under my brow. And on the inner corners of my eyes. Super easy. So then I'm going to spray my skin with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This stuff smells so good. And then we're going to move on to our lips. Okay, so for lips, um, I'm going to 
gonna go in with the shade Mauve by NYX. And I put a line down the center. And then three lines right there. I don't know. I see people do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go over top with the Fenty Gloss Bomb. And that's the finished makeup look, you guys. Got some fuzzy on my face. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I'm out. I'm outie. Deuces, y'all.